Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. We're here live at the Sweet and Snack Show, and we are here with the American Licorice Company. It's over 100 years old with Christy Schaefer. And Christy, there's some really cool stuff going on. So I want to talk about some new products, but some cool initiatives you guys have. So tell me what you're holding there. Sure. This is our um, Sour Punch Wild Bites. It's our narwhal shape. And we kind of took a cue from the beverage industry with these flavors. And we have some really fun flavors um, like Frozen Flurry, Arctic um, Avalanche, and things like that. And it's just a really cute um, shape that's really popular with kids these days. And um, we love it. It's really great blended flavors. There's four different flavors in here and a really fun shape. So Talk about this for a second. So behind the scenes, right? We see this comes out, it looks pretty, it's done, but there's a lot of work that goes in this behind the scenes. So when you're meeting behind the scenes, what were you talking about to create this? Yeah, so we try to th figure out trends in the industry, whether it's toy trends or things like that. And the narwhal was getting pretty popular. So we went to innovation and said, hey, do you think you can do a shape like this? And what's really interesting is all of our candy is extruded. We have an extruded process. So it's not starch mold where you get those wonderful 3D you know, shapes and definition in your candy. It's really challenging for us, but we tried to find a way to do something a little different. And so if you think of the old Play-Doh where you used to push it through the shape and the shape would come out, that's kind of how our candy is. It comes through a die, and um, the shape comes out, and it gets cut in little pieces, and hence uh, the shape you get. So it's a challenging process, but we feel like you know we've hit the mark on a lot of our new shapes here. So, so we're having... So talk about some of the other ones. We have this one. Yeah. What else do we have? So we have our, um, our Sour Punch Hearts. These were new this year for Valentine's Day, and we did a test with uh, a major retailer, and it had a 95% sell-through, so that was pretty exciting. Um, so we're continuing on with this and in the future we're going to have different pack sizes, uh, two from classroom exchange pack size as well. So we're really working on some fun things there. We had our chicks and bunnies that were also new for this Easter, adorable little shapes there and two new flavors. And then our bats and pumpkins behind you right there, we have a mixed berry bat shape and a tangerine pumpkin and they're in our little scare size pouches that you could toss into the trick-or-treaters bags. You know, we were talking a little bit about uh, Red Vine and an award you won for Red Vine. Yes, so we won, in 2017, we won the Women's Choice Award um, from Women's Choice, and um, we were voted the most recommended licorice out there. So that was a really uh, honorable thing that we received, and we were really proud of it. So how did you get in the candy industry? Oh, goodness. Um, well, I came from a different industry. I came from Alberto Culver many moons ago, and um, candy, I, it just kind of happened that way, but um, I have a... Uh, tie to candy deep in my heart with um, two two people in my life. Uh, my one, my grandfather, who's passed away, but uh, he always had black licorice in his pocket, and he used to offer it to us kids, and we were like, no, it had like lint. As a kid, you don't like love yeah. black licorice. It's an acquired taste. It is, but it is making a comeback. So, and we actually have black licorice in our in our portfolio, so we're excited about that. But um, you know, it always had the lint stuck to it and stuff. But it, it's a fond memory <laughs> for me. And then my husband is um, in major league baseball and uh, so super ropes uh, we actually had those handed out at our wedding as a nod to him and his baseball um, you know did he play baseball he didn't he's a he's a scout but oh, yeah cool. yeah so I want to talk about embrace your punch you guys have some initiatives going on um, talk about that Yes, thank you. Um, so our company has some really tremendous core values that we all try to live by, and we do a great job doing that. And we've taken time to really focus on the employees, making sure they're happy, feeling valued, you know, feeling they can contribute in their best way possible. And beyond that, we've really focused on the community right outside um, within La Porte, Indiana, where our and uh, Union City. California as well, where our employees actually live in that area and work in that area. So we take care of our community as well with a lot of different initiatives, volunteering and things of that nature. And then beyond that, we really focus on the environment as well. We've taken some initiatives to lessen our carbon footprint in this world. Um, we've gotten our plastics down. We have zero waste facilities now we're really proud of. So tell people what that means, who don't know what zero waste facilities Yeah, um, we have no waste. We recycle everything or um, it, there's, it's repurposed in some way yeah so embrace your punch what does that mean so to your point um, embrace your punch so looking at our brands and all these wonderful things our company's doing uh, we wanted our brands to have a purpose that ties very closely to the core values of our company and so sour punch we're rolling out a new initiative called embrace your punch and this is about 
embracing self-love. So love yourself and the differences, unique things about yourself and appreciating those in others. And we feel like that's a message of hope for the future generations. There's a lot of negativity out there we hear about in the news all too much now. And so if we could just change a few lives, it will really be a big impact for us as a company because um, it ties so much to our core values. Yeah. So there's a, uh, you have an athlete who's also spreading the word. We do. So Norris Frederick is an Olympic athlete. I believe he's also performing in the, or competing, not performing, and then 2020 Olympics. We're very proud. Um, he's had his own initiative to have anti-bullying um, message out there for young kids, and he's done a lot of work in this area. And so we partnered with him along with the Boys and Girls Club of Northwest Indiana. And um, together we have created a video for, for the Boys and Girls Club, and um, it's all about, you know, really understanding what the child feels like and the young adult feels like when they've grown up being bullied and things like that and the, the hardships they've gone through and how they've come out on the other side. And so the Embrace Your Punch Tour is just about embracing self-love and trying to teach others to do that same because we really feel, you know, at the core of it, if you love yourself, you're not going to be that one negatively lashing out at others. So where should people check it out? Where can they find the product? Yeah, our products are all over. Um, you can yeah, check. You guys are all over. <laughs> yeah, we're in a lot of retailers. Uh, you can look at our website for you know, just type in your zip code to find the nearest store, in, you know, in your area. Um, you can order from Amazon. You can order. We're, we're launching a new e-commerce site in about a month, so we're really excited about that. So you could buy directly. Well, what's the site they can go to? Um, it, well, you can go to any of our um, sourpunch.com or redvines.com or AmericanLicorice.com, and there will be a link to go to um, direct purchase, which is fantastic. Um, so yeah, I mean, we're easily you know out there for anyone who wants to find our delicious products. So, Chrissy, last question: your favorite? I know there's a lot of choices, but I think my daughters would like the sour punch hearts as their favorite. Do you have a favorite out of these? Goodness, that's, you know, it's like asking a mother to pick a favorite I child. Know. I just can't there do it. There always is one. I no, can't do it. No. No favorites. I can't. We'll go with the super ropes or, <laughs> from your <laughs> wedding. Yes. Yeah. All right. Live from the Sweet and Snack Show.